Hi dear students, another question you can see. Find the minimum distance between the parabola y is equals to x square plus 3x plus 7 and x minus y is equals to 0. Parabola given and the line is also given. We have to find out the minimum distance between these two. That means definitely they are not intersecting. Once they are intersecting means minimum distance is becoming 0. So that's why parabola may be like this and the line is like this. We have to find out the minimum distance between this parabola and this line. Now what I am doing is, I am taking a point on this parabola. At that point, I am drawing a tangent. A tangent is drawn in such a way, this tangent is parallel to this line. I am drawing at a point on the parabola, identifying a point on the parabola in such a way. At that point, a tangent drawn is parallel to this line. That means, you know, differentiation at a point is the slope of the line. That's why differentiate this one. Then you will get dy by dx is equals to 2x plus 3. Already dy by dx we know 1 because this line equation y is equal to x, its slope is equal to 1. That's why 2x plus 3 is equal to 1. So we got x is equal to minus 1. Right? Or x is equal to minus 1, substitute here. Then you will get y value is equal to 1 minus 3 plus 7. That is equal to, come on, 5. That means minus 1 comma 5 point we got. That means from a point minus 1 comma 5, x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 5. From a point minus 1 comma 5 onto this line, we have to find out the perpendicular distance. That perpendicular distance only the minimum distance, right? That can be find out minus x minus 5 divided by square root of x coefficient was That means from this point onto this line, the perpendicular distance modulus that is nothing but 6 divided by root 2 is the answer right so another question is given like this now two parabolas are given so the parabolas are given like this find the minimum distance between two parabolas x square plus 4x plus 2y plus 20 is equals to 0 is one parabola and the second parabola equation is y square plus 2x plus 4y plus 20 is equals to 0 is another parabola, right? We have to find out the minimum distance between these two parabolas. Whether you observed or not, one parabola, that is another parabola. If x and y interchange here, you will get that one. x and y interchange, you will get that one. So, observe here once y square is equals to 4ax parabola you know and x square is equals to 4ay parabola also you know this is the parabola y square is equal to 4ax and this is the parabola x square is equal to 4ay that means i am taking y square is equal to 4x x square is equal to 4y let us say now this is the line y is equal to x one parabola is the mirror image of other with respect to the line y is equal to x because if x and y interchange we are getting this one that means one parabola is the reflection of other with respect to the line y is equal to x so that particular idea that is the idea observe here this is one parabola and this is another parabola he is asking minimum distance between these two parabolas he is asking. So that's why here one parabola is the mirror image of other with respect to the line y is equals to x. That means x minus y is equals to 0. Now what to do? The same procedure. Differentiate the curve. Then you will get 2y into dy by dx. Right? Otherwise better to differentiate this one easily you will get. So 2x plus 4 plus 2 into dy by dx is equals to 0. 
that means one of the other I am differentiating right differentiation at a point is nothing but slope of the tangent at that point right already dy by dx is equals to we can write 1 then we will get 2x plus 4 plus 2 into 1 is equals to 0 therefore we are getting x value is equal to minus 3 so that means here we got x coordinate is equal to minus 3 x value minus 3 substitute here 9 minus 12 plus 2y plus 20 is equals to 0 right so therefore we are getting 2y is equals to 29 minus 12 so you will get minus 17 therefore y value is equal to minus 17 divided by 2 that means we got this point as minus 17 divided by 2 but we required the minimum distance between the two parabolas that's why from this point onto this line find out the per perpendicular distance minus 3 plus 17 by 2 in modulus divided by square root of x ka coefficient square plus y ka coefficient square we got this distance now multiply with 2 so that is the minimum distance between the two parabolas so let's see one more question here whether episode or not at a point at dy by dx directly we are writing 1 dy by dx means what differentiation of the curve at a point that is nothing but slope of the tangent that tangent slope must be equal to y is equal to x line slope that is the reason so one more question you can see this is another informative question a circle which is drawn with a pq of parabola this is the parabola y square is equal to 4x here there is one point is there p and this is another point to q pq as a diameter the parabola equation is also given y square is equal to 4x with the pq as a diameter a circle is drawn what the information is saying circle is also passing through the vertex so this is the parabola he is saying that circle passes through the vertex enough that information is enough so taking this pq as a diameter if you construct a circle this is the circle with the pq as a diameter this circle passes through the vertex given circle passes through the vertex no doubt definitely this is the vertex so join that vertex with p join that vertex with q also no doubt this angle is equals to 90 degrees just observe here this point is a t1 square comma 2 a t1 and this point is a t2 square comma 2 a t2 but this chord subtends 90 degrees at vertex then what is the condition we have t1 t2 is equal to minus 4 if the chord subtends 90 degrees at the vertex we have the condition t1 t2 is equal to minus 4 ok that is the one information so in place of a we can write 1 because y square is equal to 4x parabola so this is a t2 square 2 t2 now he is asking area of a triangle OPQ what is the area of a triangle OPQ half into T1 square 2 T1 next point is T2 square 2 T2 0 0 first point we have to repeat again that is the area of a triangle OPQ I think in the question the area of a triangle OPQ is given as a 20 once again with the PQ as a diameter with the PQ as a diameter we have constructed a circle that circle passes through the vertex of the parabola that's why we have the information chord subtends 90 degrees this is diameter 
subtends 90 degrees on the circumference that the point that's why this is called subtends 90 degrees at the vertex that is the reason this information we have this area of a triangle opq is given as 20 so p point is there q point is there o is origin area is given 20 okay then what we will get he is asking to find p point and q point you have to find out see here so area is equals to half into modulus of 2 into t1 square into t2 minus 2 into t1 into t2 square must be equals to 20 now i am taking two common cancel if you take t1 t2 common then you will get t1 minus t2 right in modulus is equals to 20 in place of t1 t2 we can write minus 4 if you write minus 4 here then cancel we are getting t1 minus t2 is equals to 5 what is the t2 yes in place of t2 we can write t1 plus 4 by t1 is equal to sorry here you get plus or minus 5 because we are removing modulus plus or minus now this is equals to t1 square plus 4 t1 plus 5 is equal to 0 1 possibility t1 square right something wrong we are doing right so this is equals to t1 square plus 5 t1 plus 4 is equal to 0 1 equation the other equation is t1 square uh, minus 5 t1 plus 4 is equal to 0 now you will get here t1 minus 4 into t1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so we got t1 is equal to 1 t1 is equal to 4 array t1 is equal to 1 then t2 is equal to minus 4 t1 is equal to 4 then t2 is equal to minus 1 we got t1 is equal to 1 that's why possible point is 1 comma 2 suppose we are taking t1 is equal to 4 then the point becomes 16 comma 8 so these are the possible coordinates for p next I am taking t2 is equal to minus 4. If t2 is equal to minus 4 becomes 16 minus 8. So that's why one combination is 1 comma 2. Next one is 16 comma minus 8. That is one combination for the p point and q point. Next combination is t2 is equal to minus 1 substitute here. You will get 1 comma minus 2. So that's why other combination is 16 comma 8. Next one is 1 comma minus 2. That is the combination for the coordinates of the points P and Q. So, so the information PQ as a diameter, we are getting a circle. That circle passes through the vertex given. And also area of a triangle OPQ is given as 20. Then he is asking to find the coordinates of P comma Q. So like that we got the coordinates of P comma Q. Okay. Bye bye.